Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, MHI demos UAVs for disaster relief deliveries. DJI's NEO 2 gets FCC listing, but fans shouldn't get too excited. And SkyDrive kicks off demo flights at Expo 2025 in Osaka. And I'm your host, Talon Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. MHI demos UAVs for disaster relief deliveries. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries announced its participation in a practical training exercise in conjunction with the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force's Asaka Garrison, the goal of which was to improve response capabilities in the event of an earthquake centered in the Tokyo metro area. The mid-sized UAV is electric-powered and intended for a variety of missions, including transport of disaster relief supplies, logistical support to remote areas, and transport of construction materials for power transmission towers. It's equipped with a cargo hoist that can raise and lower supplies and materials from a hover. That capability was demonstrated during the exercise. Future plans include the integration of satellite communications and extending the crew's range using a hybrid propulsion system. The larger UAV is powered by a hybrid propulsion system consisting of electric motors for vertical operations and a fueled engine for horizontal flight. It's being developed for the same general range of purposes as the mid-sized vehicle, but will have greater speed, range, and cargo capacity. These will enable its use for delivering large amounts of relief supplies to remote islands and potentially maritime deliveries in emergencies. It has a longer range of up to 1,000 kilometers or 540 nautical miles. After the break, NASA and Firefly Inc. $177 million contract for Lunar South Pole Mission. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next Gen Minute. NASA and Firefly Inc. $177 million contract for Lunar South Pole mission. Firefly Aerospace has been awarded its fourth lunar contract, with NASA handing over $177 million for an upcoming mission to the Moon's South Pole. It will utilize the company's Blue Ghost lunar lander, carrying five payloads. Firefly's Elytra Dark transfer vehicle will insert the Blue Ghost lander into lunar orbit and then remain in space for more than five years to provide comm support for both this and future missions. Once on the surface, Blue Ghost will operate for 12 days, offering power, data, and communications to its onboard payloads. U.S. EU trade deal exempts aircrafts and parts from tariffs. The aviation industry caught a big break in the historic trade agreement between the U.S. and the European Union when President Donald Trump and EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen met in Scotland on July 27. The two leaders agreed on a 15 percent tariff on European goods sent to the U.S., but some strategic products would be omitted from any tariffs on both sides, including aircraft and aircraft component parts, as well as certain chemicals, generics, semiconductor and agricultural equipment, natural resources, and raw materials. Manufacturing for Boom Symphony Engine Core parts underway. Boom Supersonic has begun manufacturing parts at its facility in Denver, Colorado for the first test core of the Symphony Supersonic engine that will power its Overture airliner. The company also confirmed the new target thrust level for the centerline turbofan engine has increased to 40,000 pounds. 
Boom plans to assemble the prototype core for testing at its site at the Colorado Air and Space Port in Watkins near Denver International Airport. The facility will be expanded for full-on propulsion system testing in 2026. AIR snags $23 million Series A to deliver eVTOLs. AIR announced it has raised $23 million in Series A funding to further scale its aircraft production and expand its operations in the U.S. The interest in AIR reflects a global growth in demand for next-gen air mobility and spurred by President Donald Trump's recent executive order promoting eVTOL production and integration into the nation's airspace system. Also driving interest is the newly announced FAA Mosaic Rule that updates LSA certification to include eVTOL-type aircraft like the company's Air One. That's it for today's Next Gen Minute. Let's get back to the rest of the news. DJI's NEO 2 gets FCC listing, but fans shouldn't get too excited. The DJI NEO was a surprising hit amongst content creators, acting as an autonomous cameraman and lightweight tag-along, but the regulatory environment of 2025 may keep its sequel away. The DJI NEO 2 recently showed up on the FCC website, an essential step whenever a new drone comes to the U.S. domestic market. But drone fans have been eyeing shipments of DJI gear with nervous eyes, since a reinvigorated U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency has been more willing to hold Chinese goods up in transit. Of course, the wider panic about tariffs or banned drones has probably made it even tougher to find the latest Mavic, but for now, those interested in snagging one at least have a shot at getting lucky. If the U.S. does get the Neo 2, customers will enjoy a nice spec bump over the first-gen model, with a modest 10 percent, according to rumor, battery increase. So far, that's the only real hard number being thrown around, along with a redesigned form factor that's lighter than the Neo 1. It's possible there will be some other improvements to the cameras and audio, but for now, anyone eyeing a DJI Neo 2 might want to wait a few weeks before putting in the order. After these messages, SkyDrive kicks off demo flights at Expo 2025 in Osaka. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. SkyDrive kicks off demo flights at Expo 2025 in Osaka. Japan-based SkyDrive has successfully completed the first demonstration flight of its model SD5 at the Expo 2025, being held in Osaka, Japan until October 13th, with flight demos continuing through August 24th. The uncrewed, remotely piloted demo flight was conducted at the Expo Vertiport on July 31st and lasted three minutes, reaching an altitude of four meters. Flight stability was maintained autonomously. SkyDrive was part of a group of AAM developers selected to demonstrate their technology at the Expo, with the theme of showcasing advanced equipment and technology that will shape the future of urban air mobility. The successful demonstration was one of the company's milestone development goals, and the public demo flights will be performed every Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until August 24th. Certification work on the SkyDrive model SD5 is continuing toward its deployment for commercial operation. Collaborations with partners in Japan and other countries is contributing to that goal as well. In Japan, SkyDrive is working with Osaka Metro Company and the Osaka City Authorities to launch commercial eVTOL operations in Osaka's Morinomiya area in 2028. The company is also partnering with JR Kyushu Railway Company to initiate eVTOL service in Kyushu in the same 2028 timeframe. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.